Yep. Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make these um, paracord reins. These are round silver. <laughs> so these are round, eight strand round braid um, with a Matthew Walker knot and just on, on um, snap clips. And these are just split reins. So, uh, and if you're riding on a halter like I am, they don't need to be as long, obviously, as if you're making them to go on a bit, which is right up here. So, I'll go ahead and show you how I made these reins. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Okay, so you're going to need some um, halter rope. Uh, this is what I'm using, 6mm halter rope. Um, there's links for that on my website. So you'll go ahead and you'll cut off the amount that you need. And you'll actually give that a melt so that it doesn't come apart when you're starting your, your braid over the top of it. Okay, and you're also going to need um, two clips, so I'm using these snap clips, and I'll put those links for those too, so you can find them. Obviously you need a knife, a wider rope, and lots and lots of paracord, so stop that for now. Okay, so to start the Matthew Walker knot, you're going to have your strands in order, so the top of this strand then the bottom of it, then the top of the next strand, then the bottom of it, the top, the bottom, the top, and then the bottom. Hang on. Okay, so you take the left strand, make a loop like that. And then that strand is going to go underneath all the other strands and then it'll come back up through that loop and you'll pull all of that strand through and as you can see with 20 odd foot of rope this is going to take a bit of time okay so now you go for the next strand and it's going to come up through that loop it all through okay so then that loop that strand is going to go above the strand that you just did okay so that'll be your bottom strand this will be your next strand and it's going to go around behind all the other strands and it's going to come up just through its own loop at the back okay so now we're going for the third strand and again it's going to come up through both of those loops that are already there and it'll sit in third position okay so it keeps coming the strands keep coming upwards then it goes underneath the remaining strands and then that's that same loop that's the same strand it'll go up through that loop Okay, so then we go to the last purple again. It's going to come up through all of those strands, all those loops, sorry. Okay, and I'll keep, keep that loop at the back there. Again, this strand will come above the other three. Go under the strands you've got left and back through that same one loop. Okay, so now we're going to start on the colours, up through all the loops, okay, 
Okay, it'll be its loop will be at the back. The strand will sit on top of all the other four strands. It'll go under the remaining strands and back up through its own loop. Okay, next strand, same thing, up through all the loops. And you can see that's it there. It'll come under the remaining strands. Again, sitting above all the other strands that have gone before. And then up through its own loop. <coughs> Okay, we've only got two strands left. Okay, so this strand again comes up through all of the loops. Sits above the other strands, goes under the last strand and comes up. Oops, just make sure that's it. Okay, so make sure it comes up through its own loop. And same thing with the very last strand, up through all the loops. Okay, that's, that's that strand. It sits on top of all the other strands and then up through its own loop. Okay, so that's all of your strands in order there. And now we're going to tighten them up in order. Okay, so the very first one we did over here is the bottom strand. And we want to keep that on the bottom as we tighten it. So we tighten it a little bit and it stays on the bottom. You can see it pulling tight on the bottom. Next strand, you can see that moving there. That should stay in the second bottom position when I pull the second strand when I pull the third strand it'll pull the third strand in order fourth strand okay see it wants to go above that one so you need to make sure that it stays in its own position so the fourth strand is there now we're starting on the pink ones okay so that's the bottom strand just tightened up the next one should be the next Next bottom, third one, oops, sorry I'm pulling, sorry I accidentally pulled the wrong one, this is the third one here, tighten it up and then this is the last one and that one it should be on top as well, okay. So you can go around again and tighten them up one more time. Bottom, second bottom, <coughs> third, fourth. That one's starting to tuck under, so I'll just make sure that's in the top position there. Okay, so we'll go around again. Next one, you can see them all starting to tighten up there. And the last one should be on top trying to go underneath there so I'll just make sure that stays on top okay so I've tightened those up as much as I wanted for now and now it's time to move them into position so this bottom strand is going to move up next to the, the color one okay so the bottom comes to the top then the next bottom one comes up to the below that one then the next one comes up and then the, the last one. Okay, so this is the start of your Matthew Walker knot. You can see it's starting to look quite nice at the moment, but we just need to start and shape that and tighten those strands up now that we've got them in, in the position we want them in. Okay, so you'll go around again, tightening all the strands. Okay, 
just tighten them up just a little bit at a time so that you don't lose your shape and so that you keep them in order okay so you can again you can see that's starting to look quite nice if you want to you can get a fid and you can kind of move those around a little bit so that the knot looks better each time and you'll just keep going with that until you're happy with how that looks can you stop that for a second okay so now I want to tighten up these these loops that are around the clip so if I pull on one of these we should get movement okay so this strand is connecting to this strand so I'm just going to pull this down and tighten it okay you can see that that's tightened up that strand so now I'm just going to tighten that strand there and it keeps it in, in the position that I had it in already uh, so I'm going to try for the next one so this strand's going to tighten that next one on the clip and again tighten that up into position uh, now I'm going to go for purple so okay I want to keep that in its spot so I'll pull that down here which will tighten it on the clip and then that strand tightens up and I'll go for the next one okay and tighten that up back in its same position okay so just keep tightening those till you're happy with your Matthew Walker knot and once you're happy then you can start with your with your braid okay so I'm just going to melt one of one of my strands of my reins and I'm just going to put it on a fin and I'm actually going to feed it through the piece of rope that I'm going to braid around as close as I can to the top just to stop the piece of rope um, from sliding down once it's, once it's inside the paracord reins now this is quite tough it takes a bit of working through there we go that is pretty hard going but you can do it getting there eventually. Okay, so I've got that cord through there now. Now I'll just slide it all the way through. So I've got my rope up into the center. Okay, so I've got my strand of um, rope in the middle with the paracord through through it. Okay, and what I'm going to do, what, how I'm going to start is you've got four colors on your right, four colors on your left. Now you start with the highest cord. So I'm going to go from the left side around the back of the work then it comes underneath the top two cords and back over to the left side okay but it'll come down to the bottom so before it was the highest strand now it's the bottom strand okay so now the top pink strand goes around the back and it goes underneath the top two purple strands 
and it comes back to the same side that it started from. Okay. So because we just did pink on the right, now we're going to do the top purple on the left. It comes around the back. It comes between the top two strands. It goes back around to the left where it came from. But it stays on the bottom this time. Okay. So now the top cord on the right goes around the back. Goes underneath the top two purples and back to the same side where it started. Okay, so now purple, the top purple strand goes around the back, goes underneath the top two strands and back to the same side that it came from, but it stays on the bottom. Okay. Now you will need to detangle because every few every few wraps your cords get tangled here. So I usually start by pulling out the rope first and then just, just pulling these cords through until they're completely out of out of the way. And you'll have to do that every few wraps. Okay, so if you put your work down and you're not sure where you're, which side you're doing next, always look at the bottom. Whatever's on top, that was the last one you did. So because purple was the last one we did, now pink's going to be next. So the right strand goes around the back, comes between the two lots of purple strands, and back to the right side. Okay. So because pink's on the top at the bottom, that means purple's next at the top. So we start at the top, always start at the top, wrap around the back, come between the strands, and then it comes back around and stays on the bottom. Okay. So we did purple last, so this time we're going to do pink. So the top strand of pink goes around the back, in between the two lots of purple strands and back to the same side. So now we're up to purple. So the top strand of purple comes around the back, back over those bottom two strands and back to the same side. Okay, top pink strand goes around the back, underneath those purple strands and back to the same side. So now purple, the top strand of purple at the back goes around, goes over and down to the bottom position. Okay, so now pink, top strand of pink goes around the back, underneath and back to the same side top purple around the back in between the two lots of pink strands and back to the same side top pink round in between the purples back to the same side top purple around the back and back over Top pink, top purple. Okay, just make sure that your back strands are nice and tight as well. Sometimes it's easy for those to get one strand to get a bit looser than the others, so just keep checking. And then you'll just keep on with, with your braid. Something feels loose, so that strand feels loose. So I'm just going to tighten that up. 
just to make sure I've got good tension all the way around. Getting ready to need to detangle, as you can see down here. There's a big tangle there that needs to get fixed. So I'll just keep going with that and tangling. Once you're untangled, you're right to go again. Top right. Top left. Okay, so I'm almost at the end of my piece of rope, so I'm just going to keep going past that point to so just keep braiding. So once you get past your rope, you just want to do a couple more braids. So that it's fully enclosed. Oops. Okay, so once that's fully enclosed, then you can tie your knot whatever sort of knot you want to do at the end. So you can do the same Matthew Walker knot that you did at the start, or you can just do a different type of knot. It's personal preference, what you want to do at the end. Stop it. <laughs> 